What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John City 4 here bringing us more Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's gameplay because today's gameplay I managed to go 49 kills and 8 deaths. Now that is not the special thing about this gameplay. The special thing is the weapon that I'm currently holding. I believe that this weapon, this SMG called the Vesper, is the most OP weapon right now in Black Ops 3. Try it out for yourself. You have you have to actually level up like all the way to level 26 or something. It's gonna take you a while. So because it, it is the last SMG to unlock right now because we are all capped on level 28. So um, you want to unlock the Vesper. It's gonna take a little bit of a grind. Once you unlock it, equip it, and also save up your coins that you have for the create a class setup. And um, you know and you're gonna have to install some of the things that will be telling you guys on the next video because it's gonna be a best class setup today with a Vesper and this class setup I'm telling you is going to help you guys get all your kill streaks, get all your KD you know pretty much higher than it is right now so um, also when it comes down to this kinds of maps like small maps medium sized maps this weapon is going to work for you a hundred percent of the time that's how it's been for me like for the past few games I'm getting like around 40 kills to 50 kills with a Vesper I know some of you guys are going to be like, well, that's an SMG, you know, it doesn't aim that far. You don't need far aiming on these kinds of maps. They're small. They have tight corridors. When it comes down to these kinds of maps, you know, you should be carrying SMGs 24-7. And if you guys saw my previous videos talking about the CUDA, you know, it was a great weapon and all. But after doing the CUDA thing, you know, the, the best class setup and the gameplays, while I was rendering the gameplays and the videos and everything that I was doing for the CUDA, I actually went into the game and I tried out this weapon because I was like, I'm pretty sure there's an, uh, another SMG out there that's going to be working better than the Cuda. So I had to try out every single SMG. I already tried out the one that looks like the P90 and uh, some other one that pretty much shoots super slow. I didn't like that one. So um, after I got the, into the Vesper, the first game I managed to go 25 kills and 11 deaths. But the thing is, while those 25 kills were happening, they were all back-to-back -back kills. Like insane back-to-back -back 360. I turned around 180 and I killed the next person like right instant. I was like, what the hell is going on? This is even faster than the CUDA. I take my words back about the CUDA being the best SMG right out there. I, I don't think the CUDA is the best one. I think this one's the best one because it allowed me to get those kills back to back. I just turn 180 while taking damage and I take them down. It was just total insane, man. It's total insane stuff. Just keep your eyes on the gameplay and you should see some of those situations happening in front of your eyes. Another thing is that yes, I know I was carrying low kill streaks, and um, that's not gonna, you know, pretty much affect my reputation. The thing is, if I would have had higher kill streaks like the wraps or the the chopper, because right now we're like capped in level 28, which kind of sucks, so we cannot use all the all the score streaks right now. But with what we have, you know, I have to use a missile strike. If I had the lightning strike though, I would have probably gotten more kills because those are more like pinpoint accuracy. You know, you pretty much put those stuff in the spawners and. You can pretty much take out like around five people to four people with those missiles, but since we didn't have that, I had to use the missile strike instead. So, um, so yeah, that's why you know I got pretty much low kill streaks. But it wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, I mostly got all my kills, you know, pretty much head-to-head -head combat, and it was it wasn't mostly kill streaks. It was mostly my gun. So that's another that's another proof that this gun is just OP. So, um, so yeah, I'm like today. I'm telling you this is going to be a best class setup for the Vesper, stay tuned, subscribe for more. Um, if you're like a new viewer just like floating around, just checking out videos of other Call of Duty YouTubers, subscribe right now because the best class setup of this weapon is going to help you guys outrace your KD, help you guys on uh, you know short combat, you know close quarter combats. If you guys are struggling right now with close quarter combats, this weapon will be the main one to carry 24-7 to your class. And also, I believe once the full game for Black Ops 3 releases, I have a feeling that I will probably get 100 kills with this weapon because once I unlock all the score streaks, once I unlock all the attachments that I need for this weapon and pretty much anything else that I need for you know for me to be the best out there, um, I think I will achieve the 100 kill mark because I've done it before. I've, I, well, not actually 100 kills, but I've, I've gotten 90 kills before and uh, you know I think this year I will achieve the 100. I have a feeling I will, so um, I will try my best to get that goal. 
So, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And, um, you know, like the video right now if you guys want to see the best class setup. If you guys want me to talk about more about the Vesper, I'll give you guys some strategies and tips on how to actually use it and what to do, you know, when some certain situations like uh, entering a corridor, a uh, certain corner, and how to, like, proceed certain enemies in a certain map. So, you know, along the way, I'll talk about it more because I know you Xbox One players are, like, attempting to play this game already because, you know, I know the beta is going to come out next week. So you guys are watching this video, you haven't even played the game yet. So once you step into the game, you guys are following him right now with the CUDA and with the Vesper. Once you use these two weapons, you're going to be owning out there. People are going to be calling you hacker. I, I, I was already being called hacker with this weapon already. It's just insane stuff. I was like, I haven't heard that freaking word since Black Ops 2. They call me hacker before because I was good at the game. And now they call me hacker again. They actually call me cheater. I think I do have that recorded already. So. I don't know, man. Since they call me cheater with this weapon, you guys can already tell it is a beastie ass weapon. So that is it, guys. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta. Outrider Neutralize. He's done. Get against the wall. Press your advantage. ACL. Drone overhead. Counter surveillance activity. UAV inbound. UAV MTL. 50% check. Sucks to be you. Setting up for rescue team ambush. Ain't no way he's that good. He's that good to be a pro. Pros are not actually that playing online, but normal people like this. They have a contract they gotta go by. <laughs> 